Hey you guys, it is Crystal Lopez here from crystalandcomp.com and I am in between uh, tasks and my work day. I've got a meeting coming up in just a few minutes, but wanted to hop on here and do a quick intro for you guys for today's video, which is three healthy recipes from our weekly meal plan last week that we made. I actually use, this is a planner that I've shared with you guys before in a couple of um, videos, especially a recent vacation video that we did. But this is the productivity planner that I use, which is from Jordan Page from Fun Cheap Free. That's really hard to say with braces. Fun, cheap, free. <laughs> anyway, it has a meal planning section in here and I use this for my work day. I use it for my meal planning. I use it for note taking. I use it for all kinds of things. But I'm gonna pop up on the screen the picture of um, my meal plan from last week and this is what I use to track all of that in. So from last week's meal plan, my idea, my intention was to record every dinner that I made. And I just forgot, <laughs> I honestly just forgot. Um, there were three nights that I remembered and <laughs> I'm gonna try to be better at that. I literally would get halfway through cooking and think, oh my goodness, I totally forgot to record this. So not being a very good vlogger, huh? But anyway, um, oh, ignore that mess. <laughs> Over here on my bed are clothes that are folded that need to be put away. I've done some schoolwork with kids so far today. I've done three meetings today for my work. I'm about to go into my last meeting for the day. Like it is just crazy chaos here all the time. Um, clearly I need to clean that up. But anyway, wanted to show you our, um, our meal plan from last week, but also the things that we made. They were super yummy. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make three things. That is a turkey, a ground turkey vegetable, kind of like a hash that is super good. And I'll give you lots of tips and pointers for making that whenever I show you in the video how to make it. Second thing that we made was melt in your mouth chicken, which was made using Greek yogurt. You could also use mayonnaise if you wanted to. Um, or you could use sour cream if you're not trying to do low carb or uh, low carb lean protein. So I'll give you some pointers for making that. And then I'm getting my message for my next meeting. Then the last thing that we made was crock pot crack chicken, which is fantastic. The end product doesn't look super like beautiful, but it is so yummy. I'll show you how we served it. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoy the video that we've put together and I'm gonna get over to my work meeting and you guys enjoy watching what we cooked last week on our meal plan. So here are the ingredients that we used. We did salt and pepper to taste however salty you want it, however peppery you want it. We did about two cloves of, cloves of garlic, but I used the jarred stuff, so the equivalent of. I did about half of an onion minced, and then I also did this bag of frozen spinach. You could use fresh or you could use fresh kelp as well. A pound and a half of ground turkey, a can of Rotel, the equivalent of a package of taco seasoning, a handful of bell peppers, two zucchini do more do less i did a combo of zucchini and squash about two cups of cheese and about two tablespoons of olive oil all right and then here we're going to start chopping up the zucchini and squash i cut them into circles and then those circles into halves and then you can use regular bell peppers or the mini peppers um, i just chop the stems off and then dice those up as well So I'm going to get my large electric skillet going with about two tablespoons of olive oil, onion. I chop up a bunch of onion, put it in a Ziploc bag and use it throughout the week or over the course of a couple of days and then add some more garlic in. Um, this I will link below in the description to this um, electric skillet. I love it. This is my second one to own. It is fantastic. Did I mention I've got it set at about 300 degrees? Then we're going to add in all of our veggies and you can add that frozen spinach in or if you're doing fresh kale or fresh spinach, you can add it in now too. You just want to cook it until everything is fully cooked all the way through. I like to use my little meat chopper um, just to kind of keep everything I like everything chopped up really well. Um, 
So that helps with that. We're gonna remove all of those veggies and set them aside, add a little bit more olive oil and a little bit more garlic. And now we're gonna add in our pound and a half of ground turkey. And again, that meat chopper comes in so handy. Really, seriously, if you don't own one, you're missing out. We're gonna get that browning. And pardon me while I take pictures, I am also, as you know, a blogger and um, I have to take pictures for the blog posts as well. So if I want blog posts to accompany this content, I've got to do that. Then I went ahead and added about the equivalent of half of the packet of taco seasoning um, right now. And we're just going to keep cooking this until it's nice and done all the way through. No pink at all. Add in that can of Rotel juices and all, and then add our veggies back in. And we're going to get that all mixed up really well together. Let all the flavors come together. And then add what would be the equivalent of the other half of the taco seasoning. Add that cheese to the top and let it melt. You can put the lid on it so it'll melt even quicker if you need to. And then serve it up. I like to serve it with some avocado slices and either sour cream or Greek yogurt. All right, so this is the melt in your mouth chicken, super yummy. We're doing a lean version of it. So we're using Greek yogurt, unflavored Greek yogurt. We're doing about two cups of Greek yogurt. You could use mayonnaise instead if you aren't going for the lean version, uh, or you could use sour cream. We're gonna just plop that right in there, and then we're going to do our grated Parmesan. I just, I love this brand of grated Parmesan from, I get it at Sam's, it's really yummy. We're gonna do half a cup of that and we're just gonna add it right into our Greek yogurt. And then we are going to do um, a little bit of salt. That cheese is a little salty, so we did about a teaspoon of cheese. And then you can either do fresh garlic or you could do um, the dry dehydrated garlic. We did two teaspoons of that. We added in some pepper to taste, and then I like to add paprika. It adds some beautiful color, but I like paprika, and it's not spicy, guys. We did one teaspoon of that. We're gonna mix it all up and um, get it all mixed up really well, and then we're gonna take a nine by 13 casserole dish and spray it with some uh, nonstick cooking spray after we take pictures, of course. <laughs> spray it with some nonstick cooking spray and then we will take our chicken breasts and put them down in that nine by 13. And um, we will add our, our Greek yogurt mixture over the top of that, spread it out evenly. And um, then we will pop it in the oven at 350 degrees until the juices run clear. I do like to add a dusting of the paprika on top again before I put it into the oven. You do it how you want to do it, but this tastes delicious. Okay, and then our sides are going to be broccoli and rice. We'll get to that in a second, but I like to buy the broccoli. You guys see me in my Costco grocery hauls. I grab this at Costco. It's pre-washed. I put it on a cookie sheet that's covered in parchment paper to make cleanup easier. I drizzle on some olive oil and then just kind of toss it around a little bit so that everything gets nice and coated. And then I like to use, this is the best, this Montreal steak seasoning. It is not just for steaks, my friends. I was gonna say it's not just for snakes, <laughs> um, but it you, you just put it on generously, not too generous, because it is a little salty, over your um, 
broccoli and then pop it in the oven. It is so good. So now we are going to make a cauliflower rice that is amazing. I love this stuff. So we're going to start with about two tablespoons of olive oil and then we're going to add in some onion and garlic to your to your liking. I do the equivalent of one to two cloves of garlic for pretty much everything and then I just did a handful of onions there. Um, and then you put your package of frozen riced cauliflower in. You could do fresh. It'll cook quicker if you do fresh. And then you want to do about about a third of a cup of chicken broth um, and then we're waiting for it we're wanting it to cook down the um, the frozen cauliflower rice so you'll see that I added on just a dusting of parsley to give it some color and then a shake of those red pepper flakes it will get spicy if you put too many pepper flakes in there I like spicy stuff but just be warned like the more you put obviously right so we just want to keep cooking this down um, until that piece of cauliflower, the lump of cauliflower that's frozen is no longer frozen. So as time goes on, it just kind of tears down like that or falls apart like that. And we want to keep, um, you know, keep stirring it so that it doesn't stick. And then we want to add in a handful of the grated Parmesan. So good. And then put some pepper on and you can add some salt too but honestly you really don't need to that parmesan adds a good amount of salt and we just want to continue to cook this until the cauliflower is completely done look at that it is amazing it is so flavorful you could serve it to your kids and they would never know that it's not rice but I did make a pot of yellow rice in the other there on the other side of the stove for my kids so we have the roasted broccoli and then there is the chicken when it's done it was fantastic and there is the riced cauliflower with the chicken uh, broth added and then that yellow rice for the kids or forever whoever wanted to eat it but it all came together very very well we just shredded up the chicken put it on top of the rice of your choice and added broccoli on the side All right, and now it's time for the crock pot crack chicken. Are you ready? So we want the equivalent of one envelope package of ranch dressing. I'm trying to figure out how much is in that container. We want about three pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breast, ideally. I did half of a package of bacon. I fried that up here. Oh, you'll see that in a minute. But um, you could do turkey bacon as well. But I only did half of a package. And then you want an eight ounce pack of cream cheese and uh, let me show you how we pull all this together okay so you want to get roughly three to three and a half pounds of chicken I'm using chicken breasts and I am putting them in frozen we're gonna cook this on low so the chicken won't get creepy I feel like when you have frozen chicken if you cook it on high and try to cook it too fast it gets a little creepy, so cook it on low, you'll be fine. And then we're going to add in the cream cheese, just cut it into squares. Um, it's gonna get all over your hands, but um, your hands will come clean. And I need to clean my crock pot, <laughs> clearly the outside of my crock pot. Anyway, um, so just keep adding those until the entire uh, eight ounces is added. And then you want one packet of dry ranch seasoning mix. I buy it in bulk, so I'm just kind of eyeballing what it would be. Um, and then you're going to, like I said, cook it on low for eight hours frozen, or if you want to cook it on high and it's not frozen, then you can cook it on high for four hours. When it's all done, you're going to, well, actually when it's all done, first you're going to cook up your bacon and then crumble that on top. I added some more cheese on top and then just shred it. We served it over rice and I made a pan of mixed veggies. All right, guys, I hope you love the recipes that I've shared today. Remember, we're a large family, so I'm cooking for eight people each night. If you're cooking for less, just adjust the recipes as needed. I hope that you'll join us and watch some of our Costco grocery hauls and other fun videos, and we'll see you in the next video. Have a great rest of your day.